game of musical chairs goes on at the bottom. When the music stops, neither Coventry City nor Queen's Park Rangers can afford to be standing where they are now in the bottom three. It's a day when experience will count and Coventry have recalled Gordon Strachan. At 39, the second oldest player in the Premiership. The oldest, Ray Wilkins, seven months his senior, has left himself out of the Queen's Park Rangers lineup. Simon Barker's return from suspension is the reason Wilkins steps down to the substitutes bench. Mark Haightley is preferred in attack to Danny DiCchio. Haightley's career started here at Coventry nearly 17 years ago. Strachan's first start for two months comes at the expense of Paul Telfer and John Salako, both dropped. Marcus Hall and David Rennie return to the defence in the wake of the serious injury to David Boost last weekend. And the best wishes of everyone involved with match of the day go to David tonight, facing a year-long road to recovery. From Impey and two to his left, Brevet and Sinclair, and Impey hasn't seen them, maybe won't need them. Played by Richardson. Well, possibilities there down the left flank for Queen's Park Rangers. There is Sinclair. Headed by Daesh. Strachan. Ready. Isn't the kindness of bounces. That was a rather extravagant swipe at the ball. Onside Whelan from Strachan's header. First big chance of the game. No Whelan. Good save by Jurgen Sommer. Stood up well and Whelan couldn't make anything of the rebound. Gallant. You have to wait for support unless he goes it alone. Oh, hit the crossbar. The margins between success and failure are always fine in football. In a game as vital as this one. Just how bad was Kevin Gallon's luck there? It's a smart stop by Steve Grisovic. Sinclair, who has a role in the Queen's Park Rangers team, licensed to pick the ball up wherever he feels he can do most damage, run at people and get in shots. Holloway's corner, and Grisovic's take. Ian Holloway was the Queen's Park Rangers hero. Sentry on guard duty to deny Coventry City. Rennie at the start of the second half, Coventry City. Rennie has uh, an ankle sprain. And Paul Williams has moved into the heart of the defence. Kevin Gallon is as close as anybody in the first half. Marcus Hall will take. Oh, Summer spilled it. Whelan! Blocked by the goalkeeper who managed to atone for his error. Owen Jess. Daesh! By Williams. Lovely control and skill from Unlove, too. That's a break of pressure. Now, how far can Unlove go? He's got Strachan in support. Three waiting in the middle. Port clearance, Yates and Impey together. Revit, Revit right is luck. Queen's Park Rangers survive. Players in. Hooked into Gallon. Oh, he's hit the woodwork for the second time in the game. What has he got to do to score? He was all alone when the cross came in. Grisovic was helpless, but Kevin Gallant, for the second time this afternoon, denied by the frame of the goal. Headed by McDonald, only as far as Unlove, away from Bardsley, and then back into Bardsley, and then away by Bardsley. And there's Jess, important challenge by Brevet. McDonald to Sinclair, one back by Strachan, cleared by Brevik, Strachan again. Chance for Jess, good save by Summer. Strachan. And the nearer to 
of the five we get they higher the desperation level Strachan's cross Dublin waiting there's Jess Cox in front a lifeline goal from Owen Jess his first for Coventry Strachan and Dublin inevitably involved Strachan picking out Dublin and Jess supporting to score with a jackpot header. He only came on at half time. He only came to the club in February. I know in Jess who escaped relegation by the skin of his teeth with Aberdeen in Scotland last season. Has uh, scored a goal which could make all the difference for Coventry City. Trevor Sinclair. Ian Holloway. for Simon Barker into Kevin Gallon he's offside it won't count well he's done everything but score it's probably a yard in it but Gallon was offside <laughs> well that just well, it's still going. Impey's had a little kick at the hall now. It was all handbags at six paces to begin with, and then it developed a little bit. Players themselves have sorted it out, but Keith Cooper would like a word. Silly boys. Oh, well, Andy Impey's asking for it. Yellow for Marcus Hall. Red for Andy Impey. Well, he hasn't got a defence. Clip forward towards Gallon. He shrugged off Daesh and he had Ray Wilkins up in support with him. He's entitled to fancy his chances today, though, Kevin Gallon. His luck has surely got to change sometime. Here's Jess. The score of the game's only goal so far. Into Whelan. Oh! Well, he could have eased one or two anxieties by tucking that one away. Just the goal scorer turned goal provider, it seemed. It was a very deliberate effort with the outside of his foot, but it was just wide. Barker has found Gallon. Who has found some daylight, only Sinclair ahead of him. This is Trevor Sinclair. Tackled by Paul Williams, it'll be a corner kick to Queen's Park Rangers. Ray Wilkins takes. Summer is there, just beaten to it by Whelan, on by Barker. Richardson with a header, Holloway tries the volley, almost reached Summer again, Hall was in the way. Wilkins, still the goalkeeper's up. Now Trevor Sinclair. Wilkins cross again. Summer's won it in the air. Gallon. Summer trying the overhead. Dublin's there. Unlove's there. And the ball is away. And Queen's Park Rangers have no goalkeeper at home. Noel Whelan against Rufus Brevet, who's won the ball. That's it. Well, Ron Atkinson has won some big games down the years. Cup finals at Wembley and the like. But this is as valuable a victory as he's enjoyed for some time, thanks to his £2 million investment in Owen Jess. Everybody knew the repercussions for the losers today. Kevin Gallant so unlucky to be a loser. Queen's Park Rangers have only two more games in which to try to repair the damage done. In the sink or swim world at the deep end of the Premiership, Coventry City have managed to keep their heads above water today with a 1-0 win.